You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Royal Decrees 67, 68, 69, 70, 71 and 72 for this year. Royal Decree 67 for 2017 stipulates the restructuring of the Ministry of Health. According to the decree, the Health Minister shall be responsible for the Assistant Undersecretary for Primary Health, Assistant Undersecretary for Hospitals and the Directorate of Communication. The Health Ministry's Undersecretary shall oversee the Assistant Undersecretary for Public Health and the Assistant Undersecretary for Human Resources and Services. The Public Health and Health Promotion Directorates will report to Assistant Undersecretary for Public Health, while the Human Resources, Financial Resources, Information and Planning, as well as the Supportive Services Directorates, shall report to the Assistant Undersecretary for Hospitals. Decree 5 of 1997 on reforming the Health Ministry was abrogated according to Royal Decree 68 of 2017. Dr. Walid Khalifa Yusuf Al Mana was appointed as Under Secretary at the Health Ministry, while Dr. Mohammed Amin Al Awadi was appointed as Assistant Under Secretary for Hospitals. Dr. Manal Alawi Sayed Amin Al Alawi as Assistant Under Secretary for Primary Health. Dr. Maryam Ibrahim Al Hajri as Assistant Under Secretary for Public Health, and Fatma Ahmed Abdul Wahid as Assistant Under Secretary for Resources and Services. The Minister of Health shall implement Decrees 67 and 68 for this year, which take immediate effect and will be published in the official gazette. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 69 of 2017, establishing the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, RERA, and shall be in charge of all duties and terms of reference related to regulating the real estate market in the Kingdom and maintaining the interest of all stakeholders as stipulated by Law 27 of 2017 on the issuance of the Real Estate Regulatory Law. RERA will also have a board of directors chaired by the Survey and Land Registration Bureau President RERA board members include the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, RERA's Chief Ex Executive Officer, SLRB's Land Registration Director General and SLRB's Survey Director General. The panel also includes representatives from the Economic Development Board, the EDB, the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, the Central Bank of Bahrain, the CBB, the Bahrain Property Development Association, the Bahrain Real Estate Association and the private real estate sector as members for a four-year term. According to the Royal Decree 70 of 2017, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa was appointed as Chief Executive Officer of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority with the rank of Under Secretary. The first Deputy Prime Minister shall implement Decree 69 and 70 of 2017, which take immediate effect and will be published in the official gazette. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 71 and 72 for this year, reappointing Dr. Jawahar Shaheen Al Mudhaki as Chief Executive Officer of the Education and Training Quality Authority, the BQA, and Osama Abdullah. Al Absi as a Chief Executive Officer of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa chaired the cabinet meeting today at Glibia Palace. His Majesty affirmed that countering terrorism is a priority and that Bahrain will remain as a country of security and stability and will resolutely confront all acts that aim to destabilize its security and stability, noting that the kingdom is open to tourists and visitors. He directed the bodies concerned to take necessary measures that prevent the exploitation of this openness to threaten the kingdom's security and stability through tightening the measures of entry and residency in the kingdom in light of the current security requirements. His Majesty stated that Bahrain has always been and still is a country most affected by the policies of Qatar. His Majesty hailed the cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities urging to continue this cooperation to enhance the democratic march. His Majesty stated that the march of the Gulf Cooperation Council remained solid and that the time had come to take firmer action against those who threaten the GCC country's security, asserting that meetings and summits cannot proceed with those who disrupt the brotherhood of the GCC countries. He added that Qatar had proved it does not respect the Charter's treaties and ties established by the GCC and had pursued policies that threaten the security of member states and that as, as long as Qatar continues on this approach, Bahrain cannot attend any summit or Gulf meeting that Qatar attends. His Majesty directed to study the necessary measures that the current stage requires.
The cabinet then resumed its regular session headed by the Deputy Prime Minister Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa. The cabinet strongly condemned the terrorist act that targeted the police bus on Khalifa bin Salman Road in Jid House, which resulted in the death of a policeman and the wounding of others, condoling the family of the policeman and wishing the wounded a speedy recovery. The members affirmed that the government will pursue terrorists and will deal with their cowardly actions, commending the sacrifices of the security officers and their efforts of maintaining security and stability. The cabinet emphasized that the kingdom will continue to emphasize implement development programs and plans that target various advancement fields, which positively reflect the citizens' lifestyles, asserting the government's keenness to complete development projects. The cabinet also noted the importance of vital projects under implementation. The cabinet congratulated the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on launching the UM project. The cabinet also approved the measures taken by the Spanish government on the unity of the country, affirming the kingdom's support to the unity against secession. Under the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the cabinet approved to allow global foreign companies to own 100% of commercial activities in accordance with the terms and conditions set by the draft proposal approved by the cabinet in order to attract more investments and make the kingdom an international center for the distribution, sale and re-export of international products. The cabinet approved transfer of medical examination services for foreign workers to the private sector and approved a draft law issued by the Minister of Health on the organization of medical examination for expatriates. The cabinet approved to cancel 73 clauses for services rendered by ports and maritime navigation affairs to carry out marine services activities and the amendment of 65 other clauses and appointed the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications to issue a ports and maritime navigation affairs fee. The council expressed the satisfaction of the economic policies in Bahrain and the achieved advances infrastructure capable of attracting foreign investment reflected in the economic indicators recorded in the second quarter of 2017, most notably the growth of GDP by 3.3% compared to the same period in 2016. The cabinet approved a draft law ratifying an air services agreement between the government of Bahrain and Malaysia and referred it to the legislative authority. The cabinet referred to the Council of Representatives two draft laws on the amendment of 2012 child law. The cabinet welcomed the final communique of the meeting of the foreign ministers and heads of general staff of the member states of the coalition which was held in Riyadh and stressed Bahrain's support of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's safety and security and its support of legitimacy in Yemen. The cabinet welcomed the resulting of the meeting of the ministers of information of the anti-terrorism countries recently held in Bahrain and its importance in promoting joint media work. The cabinet noted the results of the annual meeting of the World Bank Group and the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, and the accompanying activities. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Hamad Town Model Youth Center, which was established by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. Present were the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, a number of officials, members of the Shura and Representative Councils, governors and invitees. His Highness unveiled a memorial plaque to mark the official opening of the Hamad Town Model Youth Center, which was built under the directives of His Majesty seeking Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to build four model youth centers in the kingdom's governorates. Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Hamad Town Model Youth Center is part of a package of projects adopted by the Kingdom of Bahrain to develop the infrastructure of the youth and sports movement, in addition to achieving the sustainable development goals adopted by the United Nations. He stated that the center realizes a set of objectives, including the achievement of gender equality through the inclusion of special facilities for girls in accordance with the customs of the Bahraini community through which they can practice various programs in line with their preferences and hobbies. His Highness added that the center also uses clean energy through eco-friendly building materials and efficient use of energy and technology to encourage investment in energy infrastructure and clean energy technology. The center also fulfills the goal of sustainable cities and communities, promoting modern urbanization and city management. He noted that the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports has prioritized the issues of upgrading youth centers in line with the directives of His Majesty the King to include youth in the development process. Sheikh Nasser pointed out that the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports has built an integrated system of modern facilities capable of embracing Bahraini youth, praising the efforts of Minister Al Jodar and the ministry's members. The center includes a rooftop soccer field, a multi purpose gymnasium, a semi Olympic swimming pool, and a health club, among other facilities. The company began with national anthem followed by the re recital verses of Holy Quran. A film was screened after the youth about the youth center. His Hana Sheikh Nasser received a commemorative gift from the Youth and Sports Affairs Minister. 
The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received today the edit of editor of chief of the Al Watan newspaper, Yusuf Al Bin Khalil, who presented his book to His Highness entitled Red Ambition. His Highness praised the efforts of the Al Bin Khalil in supporting the media and culture movement in the kingdom. He stated that the book reflected the author's experience in political media and journalism. His Highness added that the book promoted the culture of research and writing. His Highness directed to present the book in a number of educational institutions and universities in particular. Sheikh Khalid wished the author further success. For his part, Al bin Khalil expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness, affirming that he will continue to exert more efforts to enrich national media and culture. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa also received today experts and researchers in technology and organizational culture and corporate management. Dr. Jassim Haji Jassim, who presented to His Highness his book under the title Techno Administrative Encyclopedia. The book discusses a number of topics, including technology, the economy, and investment on the national and global levels. His Highness praised the efforts of Dr. Jassim in writing this book, expressing pride in the research which will contribute to developing the performance of the sectors of technology, economy, finance, and investment in the kingdom. For his part, Dr. Jassim expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Khalid, affirming the support of the leadership to research. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and honorary president of the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, visited yesterday the headquarters of Friendship Society for the Blind. His Highness was accompanied by the advisor of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa for Economic Affairs, Dr. Hassan bin Abdullah Fakhro, and Labor and Social Development Ministries Under Secretary Sabah Dosari. Upon arrival, His Highness was received by the Society's president, Hussein Al Hlebi, the members of the board of directors, and a number of senior officials at the Labor and Social Development Ministry. The Society held a ceremony in celebration of His Highness's visit. After that, Sheikh Khalid toured the Society, which was established in 1981. His Highness visited the Society's kindergarten, as well as four classrooms where he reviewed the educational services provided. His Highness then headed to the exhibition that included handmade products and handicrafts. During the visit, His Highness met with students Zainab Ibrahim Al Mu'min, who participated in the Arab Reading Challenge, and short story writer Ghadir Ibrahim Nasif. Sheikh Khalid commended the outstanding level of the students wishing them success in their educational endeavor. His Highness expressed pleasure of, for visiting the Friendship Society, praising the efforts of the organization in nurturing creative talents that participate effectively in the society. For his part, Al Hlebi praised Sheikh Khalid's visit, affirming that it reflects his support to people with disabilities.
A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain Oil Share Index has closed at 1,276.48 points, marking a decrease of 0.29 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the investment, insurance and the commercial bank sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector, representing 55% of the total value of traded shares. 57 equity transactions took place, including 815,084 shares worth 195,400 Bahraini dinars. The Central Bank of Bahrain announced that this week's 70 million Bahraini dinar issue of government treasury bills has been oversubscribed by 144%. The bills carrying a maturity of 91 days provide a 2.67% weighted average rate of interest, compared to 2.73% for the previous issue. The approximate average price for the issue was 99.328%, with lowest accepted price being 99.309%. This is the issue number 1,675. With this, the total outstanding value of government treasury bills is 2.085 billion Bahraini dinars. The Bahrain Asian Traders Committee of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry held a Bahraini Korean Business Forum. The event embraced a number of Korean companies which held one-on-one -on -one meetings with interested local investors and business owners. Speaking at the event, the Korean ambassador commended the cooperation between the Bahrain Chamber and the Korean Embassy and expressed keenness on holding more business events to facilitate a closer partnership between the Korean and Bahraini business communities. The event highlighted the business environment in Bahrain and encouraged Korean business owners to venture in the Bahraini market and benefit from the array of facilities offered to foreign investors. It also encouraged local business owners to forge partnerships with their Korean counterparts and seize the opportunity to enter the promising market of Korea.